Howdy folks, welcome. This is Ty Vias and we are on Ty's Ranch and it is 9.25 p.m. A little bit dark out. So, <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're starting a little bit late here in the day. I think I'm going to speed up some time here. Um, let me check the field first to see if we've got anything in growth process. Wait a moment, I don't think we do. Uh, this one's growing, this one's growing, that one's growing, so it'll be a little while. So I'm going to speed up time so that we can get to daylight quicker. Um, in the last episode, we did buy some machinery and uh, that we much needed. Uh, the tractor we got and the, uh, the cultivator slash feeder, we got that. And uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with those purchases. Where did I put them? I think I put them over here. I can't see anything. We also got the uh, fertilizer uh, mechanisms here so we could fertilize the field. There is a problem though. We do have a problem. Um, but before I tell you the problem, uh, look up in the top right there. We've got another $224,000 plus. I went and did a little bit more grinding uh, with the neighbors and uh, did some harvesting in that. And we managed to raise a little more capital because in the last episode, we did not get the tipper that we wanted. Uh, I was looking at the tippers and uh, let me go over there right now. Bump, bump. There we go. Uh, the tippers that we want, where is it? Where is it? There it is there. Is this bandit 750 and it's 51,000. So I raised a little bit more than what we needed. So maybe we can get a better tipper. Or what we could do is just get that 51,000 and we can get uh, something else that we need just as badly. And that's where this uh, little problem comes in handy here. Uh, let's go and take a look at this part here. You see we've got the fruit types, we've got the growth, and it just pointed out to me we have soil composition. We didn't have that in, in uh, Farming Simulator 15. Now, this tells me every field on the map needs to be plowed. We're losing a lot of productivity from not plowing these fields. So, and at current, currently, I do not have a plow. If we take a look, we go into our garage, and we take a look. We don't have a plow in here, as far as I know. No, we don't. So we need to buy a plow. Let's go back. And uh, where are the plows? They are right here. And they're not cheap. Um, this one here, for instance, requires 300 horse. Now, fortunately, we do have a 300 horse vehicle. And this one is uh, 6.2 meters wide. This one here is only 4.9. Now, I'm not an expert with a plow, but um, I'm willing to give it a shot and the fields that we have they are uh, they're not that big really but 6.2 meters yeah we can use that so I think we're definitely going to get that and this episode we're going to be doing some plowing so we got it yep 77,000 okay and then we're going to go back and back again and this is where we're going to get the uh, what was it that we wanted the tipper yeah, let's get the tipper. Um, where is it? We've got 144,000, so we can get a fairly skookum tipper. Uh, this bandit here will hold 59,000. And there was this other bandit over here. This one holds 40,000. So that was another 19,000 liters that it will hold. Um, I think, what are we going to do here? Uh, if I get that 19, this one here, we're going to have to buy a dolly for it. And this one here is just a small one, 32,000. These don't hold the stuff that we need. This one needs a dolly as well. Uh, but it's 47,000 compared to the 40. I think we're just going to stick with this the original idea, get this band at 750 going to select that we're going to buy that yes i want to purchase it for 50 okay so we have those two now we've got the tipper and we've got the plow first thing we need is the plow 
so we still have ninety three thousand dollars so we're doing pretty good let's slow the speed the time down and um, we're going to take a look at the fields and see how they're doing uh, I don't want the fruit types I want the growth cycle uh, okay so this one is partially ready to harvest and if I remember correctly that's the one over here that I did not let me go into the get into here I believe that is the one that uh, we didn't sow all the way. Yeah, that's right. So let's get this thing harvested, or er, started harvesting. I'm going to go up here like this. I'm going to hire a worker. Hire a worker, and away we go. We're going to let that baby happen. And we're going to tab over to our new tractor, this baby here. And uh, he's going to be, I'm just going to drop off this here, and we're going to run up to the store, and I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back, and we're just going to couple up to this, uh, uh, to this uh, plow, like so. And we're going to take a quick look, a scan around, and you'll see how big this baby is. It is humongous. It is gigantic. Um, can we uh, unfold the plow? Let's test that. So it tips a little bit more sideways. Okay. Now this is going to be interesting because I've never plowed a field before. And the way this looks, there's no way that you can do... Uh, it's going to be hard. So we're going to ex experiment with this thing a little bit later on. Uh, in a little bit here, and uh, we're going to bring the plow up to the field, and uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's going to be interesting to say the least. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back at our farm. We're at the, the uh, last field that we just purchased. We pulled the tail of this plow off the road here, and we're going to swap over. Uh, this guy's at 81%. We need to get this thing hooked up to the... I was going to sell this other smaller tipper, but you know what? I think we pretty much need it. Um, so like this, like this. We pretty much need it for these smaller fields. And uh, yeah, we're probably going to... We're going to be grateful that we hung on to it, I think. So uh, let's pop over here and grab this load off of this combine first thing and then we are going to head over to the what do they call it the bell tour can we grab this before the uh, turn no <laughs> uh, he's going to make it difficult isn't he So we're going to have to go to the field to lower our cruise control down to 6 miles per hour. There we go. And go through the crop like they would normally do. Not. this baby now the way that we're going to have to do this is going to be interesting because 
since the plow is on a bit of an angle, not a bit, but on a whole lot of an angle, can I go straight back? Whoa, this thing is going to buckle. Okay, let's, uh, that's the stop sign. So this, as you can see, it's on quite an angle. So if I start here, I'm going to start plowing at the tail of it, and it's off of the field. Whereas if I go up here, uh, I've got to get that rear wheel onto the How can I do this? <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Uh, not. Okay, so let's, uh, and we can't do this on, on, uh, by hiring anybody because you have to do it by hand. So let's, uh, lower the plow. Okay. Now I'm just going to try and do a circle, a bit of a rounded corner. And, uh, it goes six miles per hour, so it's going to go slow. Go like this. Might be the best way to do it, and then we can touch up the corners later. So, and this, this field, this side goes on a bit of an angle, so it's really weird. Um... But this will increase our crop production, as well as the fertilizing, so... And we've got to plow first all of it, then go and grab the fertilizer, and do that baby. This is what I'm going to do, is go right up to the corner. And raise it up. Circle around. Maybe this is the way I'm going to have to do it. Um, yeah, I think so. Okay, let's go over here. I think this is it. This is what we're going to have to do. This makes sense. Move it around. <laughs> oh boy. This thing is hard to maneuver. It is. Trust me, it is. Okay, we're going to have to go out on the road, probably stop traffic in the process. Okay, now swing around. Get past this tree. Can. to enlarge the field any. So, anyway, I'm going to work at work away at this and uh, let you... Uh, maybe I'll play with this for a little bit and show you how hard it is. Um, I have yet to see any videos on people doing the plowing, but then again, I haven't watched too many videos on Farming Simulator 17. Okay, now, how are we lined up there? A little bit more. Okay, let's drop that plow. And go like so. We can get the corners done right off the bat. It'll definitely... Oh, I'm missing some of the field. Don't do that. This thing swings. Okay, well maybe it doesn't enlarge the field. Okay. 
okay, so I'm fussing about it a little bit too much, more than I need to. So let's uh, go like this. Let me just try this. I'm very curious to see if I can uh, go off the field without damaging the part that isn't part of the field. So, and I missed some here, so let's give this a try. Okay, it's not enlarging the field. Okay. I know that if I did this with the plow in FS15, it would definitely cut into the grass area. And that's what I... Uh. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to play around with this a little bit, and uh, we'll be back shortly. And we're back, and wow, I just discovered that you can hire uh, workers to do the job for you. So... <laughs> Bonus! Bonus! I'm so happy about that. Um, this makes my job so much easier. I did this, as you can see over here, I was able to put in the GPS system and get it working fine. But um, the, uh, the worker does a much better job for it. So we're going to be using the worker, the hire, hiring a worker to do this. Excellent! I am heard me so pleased with this uh, we've got to make sure that he goes straight to the end unhire the worker stop lower that down we got a little bit of a corner to do here buddy now let's get that done okay now we're going to spin around and we've got to do this baby all right oh and i forgot to pick it up okay there we go down and get this little bit. Go like this and higher. Let him do the job. All right. I'm so pleased with that. Excellent. Okay, well while he's doing that, let's go over and see. We have completed this, so we need to get the rest of this crop. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, he's behind me. Way up there. Okay, so, um, actually, I'm just gonna leave this baby down here. We're gonna bring the combine down because shortly we're gonna have another crop to do. Uh, which one is next? Uh, could be 15, could be 12. We're not sure. But, uh, definitely, uh, 13 is going... Is that 13? 14 is going to be needing to be plowed as soon as this one is plowed so and this one's showing harvested and plowed we're showing great okay that's good so um yeah let's go get the combine turn around bring up the stack and we're gonna unload this baby So yeah, I'm going to be doing a little bit more grinding. I need to make a little bit more income because I want to get a bigger harvester. Uh, this one is about the lowest that I would go. Um, I'm looking to get one of the ones that are 41 foot uh, headers on them because they will do a much nicer job. So let's uh, pull up here. And we're going to pull this baby over here. Unload that, and then we're going to take a look in, into our silos and see how we're doing for space. Another thing I want to check out <coughs> is um, is uh, whether silage is as high priced as it would be in. Uh, oh, there we go. Fifth, higher. Um, see if silage is as high priced as it was in Farming Simulator 15 because we made millions on that baby 
and that's our main goal is to make a million dollars pay off our debt buy a lot of property and go from there oh, stop it stop it you did not finish that yet I'm gonna have to fix all this up later that's the problem with hiring after you've started doing something is uh, the spots that are going to be missed Gotta get this going here. I'll have to put the rest of the field on the GPS system. Here. Not this stuff. Okay. I think we just about got the field. How did I miss it? So anyway, yeah, I'm going to finish off this field and then we're going to get the, the fertilizer on it and get that done. And uh, then we've got to get this This. Oh, the GPS is going to have to kick in on this one. So let's uh, set that up. Bump, bump. There. Okay. And we're going to want this to go this way. Widen that. Okay, and let's see if this will work. I'm going to kick this off. Hire the worker and see if he's going to finish that off. So, but anyway, um, yeah, we've got to get a lot more, more stuff. Um, and... I do definitely want to check out the silage situation. If I go into here, uh, I, can, I can't seem to find anything regarding silage. Uh, I believe, if we go through here, this is manure. This, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's saw, it must be sawdust. I'm not sure where the silage thing is. I think maybe this is the silage biogas plant 441 that's about a quarter of what I was getting off of uh, farming simulator 15 so um, I'm not really tickled about that part this stuff here is I'm not sure what this is but there's no price oh there is a price it's at the barn so I think this is loose hay and this is uh, or this could be uh, forage material Whereas this one is bailed hay. I think we're going to call this an, a wrap on this episode. And, uh, yeah, we bought some machinery. Bought the plow. And uh, we're in the middle of uh, plowing our fields. We've got four fields to plow. One is just about complete. And this one, I'm going to uh, fertilize it. Then we're going to seed it, probably with canola. Um, let that go. Uh, that way we can uh, increase our quantity that we have in the So, uh, thank you very much for popping by. If you like the video and you'd like to see more, please do hit that like button. And if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. Uh, I will be posting uh, shout outs to anybody that does subscribe at the end of the video. So, thank you so much for, uh, for checking things out. And, uh, Look forward to seeing you the next time. So until then, this is Ideas on Pie's Branch signing off. Have yourself a fantastic day and may you always feed in peace. Whatever that means. <laughs> anyway, take care. Bye for now. Yeah.